Hi, this is Alicia with thriftyandchic.com and today I'm going to share with you a really fun tutorial on how to take these little dollar store, I think they're chalkboards, and turn them into something a little cuter. So they come in square and they also come in this, which is the after. Obviously, I'm not going to turn square into a circle, but they also came into this shape. Um, I changed up the color a little bit and I added this cute silhouette. And so the main bulk of this video is to show you how to turn any picture of your child, not any picture, there are some um, things that you have to keep in mind, but a profile picture of your child into a really cute silhouette on Canva. So let's get started. Okay, open up a new design in Canva. I chose a five by seven design. You could choose a four by six, whatever size you would like. For the sake of this tutorial, instead of uploading my own picture, I'm just going to show you one that's already been on Canva. So I'm going to just search girls profile pic, but you would upload your own. Obviously you would want one of your loved ones and maybe not some random person on the internet. So I'm just going to pick this girl. So when you are uploading your own, just make sure that you use the same composition as this. Then use the background remover and now size it to fit where you would like to be on the canvas. And then you're going to go to edit and click on effects and duo tone and then click on cherry. You're going to change the highlights to black, which is six zeros. You are going to change the shadows also to black, also six zeros. And then you are done with that. You have your silhouette. Now let's get that really pretty curved line that you see on a lot of silhouettes. So search curved line in the graphics and scroll until you see the curved line that you like. I love this one. And so I'm going to put this into the design Fill it, move it around. I'm going to make it larger to take up some size and then kind of place it where I would like for it to sit on long, along the bust line. And then I will duplicate it a couple times. I could continue to duplicate it or you can also go and at this point find like a circle or add a rectangle in white to get rid of the rest of it. I wish there was an easier way to like erase this like in Photoshop. But, and maybe there is, <laughs> but this one is just um, pretty easy as well once you get the hang of it. And so just kind of get rid of that extra black. And then there you have it. There's your beautiful silhouette. Now you will want to name this, obviously, and then download it. So you go to share to download it. You could download it in a number of different ways. You have your JPEG, you have your PNG, you have your PDF. PNG is great because if you have the um, paid for version, you could do a transparent background in case you have something in the background. So that's great. And then just go to download and print. Now we are going to our frame. This is a dollar store chalkboard that I found at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use this to house that really pretty silhouette. So first I'm going to paint it black. I did not like the chintzy gold that it was. So I'm painting it with an acrylic black paint, getting it all over. This will take a little bit of time, sorry. <laughs> um, and just really only one coat has to do, just make sure it's a pretty full coat. And then getting into all those like little crevices and curves is really um, needed. So then I, in order to increase this, I use the blow dryer and that helped with speeding up the dry time and then i added my rub and buff and gold leaf and i'm using a stippling brush excuse me to add that into all the crevices you'll see how the black starts to peer out as much as i even try to get it into each of those crevices the black still wants to come through right and that's what gives it that beautiful vintage look that i love so it goes from that chintzy gold to this beautiful finish then I just put the silhouette that I just created in Canva in it, and there you have it. Here are some other vintage inspired frames that I created from Dollar Store Frames that I shared with you in a tutorial a couple weeks ago if you want to go check them out. I share more do-it-yourself projects and decor videos on here and on my blog at thriftyandchic.com.